Welcome to my backlash review. Um, I'm gonna review my basically backlash. Um, what happened after from today? Anyway, sorry for the bad grammar, but I'm gonna uh, upload new videos soon. And plus, prediction videos are getting you know a bit copyright. I'm trying to find a way to get around it so I can get up for you guys. But overall, I'd like to thank you guys for if you stick with me around, you know. We're almost at 100 subscribers. Let's hope we can get there, please. This really appreciates it. I'm already, I'm already appreciating that I accumulated over 30k plus views. And, you know, I'm already at 84 subscribers at this moment of the video. But I'd like to give a shout out to everyone that supported me and, you know, liked all my videos. Um, thanks. And let's get into the review. Oh, and I'd like to give a shout out to two specific guys. The first guy is um, Carlos Plays. He does good um, action figure reviews and other stuff he content he creates. Also, the Kevin Owens show that he makes also good as custom themes just as much as I do as myself. Anyway, let's get to the video. Anyway, Ty Dillinger won. He got momentum heading in. We already know he was going to win. Good for Ty. I hope to see what he does next after winning it in English. Alright, let's go to the next match. Harper won after losing to Rowan on SmackDown. Good for um, Harper. He won to stay relevant and has a great potential for SmackDown and down in the future. Alright, let's get to the next match. Anyway, we had Nakamura versus Ziggler. We obviously knew Nakamura was going to win since, you know, he can't lose on his debut because he's obviously Nakamura. So, Nakamura won. It was a five-star match in my opinion. Not, not a five-star. Actually, four-star, but it was a decent match. Let's get to the next one. Next, we have um, the Usos against Breezango. But, yo. <laughs> Tyler Breeze, yo. <laughs> when he came out as the Grim. <laughs> and then the janitor. The janitor. I know. They were poking at Kenny Omega. I understand what they were doing. And then, basically, you know, the fashion police and all the other stuff. <laughs> I, I gotta get a hold of myself. Anyway. You know, I really wanted Breezango to win, and most of us wanted Breezango to win. I thought it was the the time that he was going they were gonna win because they were, you know, they were over at the crowd, and they finally turned them into something. The both of them, and time, finally Tyler Breeze gets actual recognition from when he was a veteran in NXT, and then you know, uh, Fandango, uh, aka Johnny Curtis, finally got something going in his career ever since beating Jericho at WrestleMania 29. Well. The Usos won. Let's see where this heads down. New Day versus Usos, perhaps. Anyway, I don't know. Let's get to the next match. Anyway, we got Zayn and Corbin. For the last weeks, you know, the Singh brothers and, you know, Jinder Mahal and the others have been squashing Zayn. But, you know, Corbin also took advantage when he, you know, he had viciously attacked um, Zayn countless amount of times. But, you know, Zayn got the win. I'm happy he won because of the fact that, you know... He finally builds from this momentum. Possibly, you know, he might get a U.S. title shot or even WWE Championship material. I hope he does get into one of those categories. He got most of the win. Corbin will rebound somehow. I think he'll win money in the bank. But nonetheless, let's head to the next match. All right, next we had the um, tag team um, women's match. And, you know, I was upset that, you know, Naomi's team didn't win. But, you know... I think they're setting up Becky Lynch's heel turn after she tapped out. I think she might turn on Naomi and Charlotte. I think they're gonna—they're not keeping Charlotte a tweener. They're gonna have her as a face. You know, she clearly turned face. But the welcoming committee won, which is a horrible name. I like to add in. Um, you know, the welcoming committee name is just horrible. But they won. Good for them. You know, Becky Lynch's heel turn starts, and let's get to the next match. I swear, before you start in the comments that oh why gender won and then you're upset boo anyway gender won i like the fact that he won fuck all y'all doubters i agree with gender he you guys doubt him because y'all discriminate the half of y'all discriminate his indian race and all that stuff i'm not indian myself but i don't discriminate either and i bet half of these guys do discriminate but for people who don't discriminate i understand but anyway um you know gender he won and, you know, I like the fact that he won. I wasn't shocked, actually. I was like, SmackDown is finally the lane of opportunity, after all. Because, not because that many, countless amount of times before, SmackDown proven it. But, like, this was the final nail to prove why SmackDown is the lane of opportunity. And why I truly love it over um, Raw. Not just because I'm bandwagoning. Because of the fact that they 
have the time to express themselves on SmackDown. They have more time to show their personalities as characters and to grow. And it's more developmental. It's not NXT wise, but like you know, it's main roster on um, NXT developmental type of way. I mean, NXT and SmackDown are different, but like they're at the same at some level because you know character development. You know, freedom talking on on the mic because you know Triple H is most likely running it. But overall, you know. I understand not many people agree with my comments. Most people, like me, unless you're like-minded like me, would understand not many people agree with your comments. You know, my uh, NFL prediction videos, not everyone agreed because the fact that I'm, you know, I'm a Giants fan, you know. Obviously, anyone with their favorite team is going to obviously pick their team as the favorites to win because, you know, of a strong offense, strong defense, and, you know, strong head coaching because one specific player is going to carry the team or something like that. You know, those type of stuff. But, you know, if y'all disagree... I appreciate you disagreeing because, you know, at least I have people who are different. I don't like being the same as many other people. They teach me, you know, not everyone's going to agree, but, you know, I don't like dealing with conflict. But then there's a limit that I can take, you know, with conflict. I mean, there's two types of criticism. There's constructive and, you know, um, you know, just insulting criticism. Constructive, basically, I it just teach, motivates me to change up a little. But, you know, when it comes to, you know, insulting type of thing, that's just deeply trying to offend me. But I'm not easily offended. So, but whatever you try to do, it's not going to offend me that well. And it's not going to turn out either I'll block you or I'll just say you're full of <laughs> Anyway, let's just get on. To, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm happy that Jinder won. Anyway, if you guys agree with this, leave a like, subscribe, and stick around for new videos like more custom things. Peace.